Good evening. Uh, welcome here to Value Rater's Class Act live on Tip TV Sport. Now, of course, as every week goes by, I'm joined here with Matt Mitter, a.k.a. Value Rater. Uh, this week, we'll be looking back at all of the weekend's form, including the Phoenix Stakes, the Primor Easter Geest, uh, and, of course, some of that action from Haydock, where the Rose of Lancaster Stakes are up a very impressive winner, Interlark. I know Value Rater liked that one, but just as impressive, not just the horse on display, but the jockeys, the girls in... Uh, specifically at the Shergar Cup. Wasn't that a performance by the girls in the pink? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we've got Sammy um, on the phone in just a moment, but, you know, it's a terrific effort. I mean, all the time in racing, we have fairy tales. I mean, she must be an absolute on a cloud nine, I think we're going to find out. Yeah, definitely, of course. Cracking team effort with Emma Jane Wilson uh, captaining the girls to glory at the Shergar Cup. And I am not just pleased, um, not just very grateful, but excited to be joined by uh, young up-and-coming apprentice and lady jockey, Sammy Jo Bell. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Um, I take it you're still riding the crest of a wave after the Silver Saddle victory at Shergar? Um, yes, well, I've been racing the past few days, so I've come back down there again quite quickly. <laughs> sure, sure. I, I, I recognise you had one at uh, Carlisle today. Finished a solid fourth, but didn't quite manage to get that one up. Mm. No, he ran a nice race. Um, um, maybe just a little bit further might suit him. A little bit further. Oh, still running well. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's and he's, he's actually um, entered up at Newcastle in a few days' time. Will he, will he take up that engagement as well? Do you know? I'm not sure. I'll leave that to, to Keith. Um, I don't know if he's going to run again or not. Leave that. Oh, okay, yeah, with Keith Dalgleish. Well, the man who's uh, really been um, giving you a few rides, uh, Sammy, and we must touch on him, is Richard Fahey. Of course, you came over from uh, Northern Ireland, Jim Bolger's yard, and also Ke uh, Kevin Pendergast, you rode 10 winners for. But now you're based over with Richard Fahey. What is it that, that draws all of these Irish jockeys over to the UK? Um, I suppose it's just a bit of a better opportunity over here. Um, there's a lot more racing, you know, um, so obviously that provides a lot more opportunities for some younger jockeys. OK, and 24 winners uh, this season already. Um, obviously, a big thanks to Richard Fahey and others. What's it like being in the Fahey yard? You've got a few different uh, jockeys, Patrick Mathers, Tony Hamilton, about um, you know how much help you get and, and how difficult is it to get uh, Richard's rides? Um, yeah, it's a great yard to be part of. There's loads of jockeys there that are helpful, you know, Tony and Paddy, and, you know, they're always full of helpful advice. Um, and then we've got Jack Gary, he's another apprentice there. So, you know, there's a bit of competition as well. But he's a great boss to work for, and he gives you plenty of opportunities if you show that you work hard and, you know, you've got the ability, he'll definitely help you. Yeah, always um, some healthy competition. Of course, it's not easy uh, breaking into that sort of high echelon. It's brilliant that you obviously managed to pick up those rides in the girls' team. It's a bit of a standby appointment, I, I understand, Sammy. But how do you plan to maintain this success going forward? You know, when they take the claim out of the saddle, it, it's going to get tough, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, yep, that's when, you know, the hard work comes in. Um, so just sort of work as hard as I can up to there and put in all the ground work and... If I'm fortunate enough to leave my claim, then hopefully I'll be all right and still keep getting out. Yeah, now I've, I've been told, looking back, that uh, one of your tactics is to watch every single race uh, in which you ride a horse back when, when you get in of an evening. So you, you, do, you, you do your homework as well? Yeah, yeah, you have to do your homework. I mean, you know, it's a tough enough game. You need to know what the horses are like you're riding, and you also need to know about the other horses that are in the race, you know. It's good to be aware of, you know, what way they're ridden or how they've ran and, you know, in case you maybe ever ride them. So it's good to do your homework. And uh, I remember you sort of uh, a little while back, uh, um, I think it was uh, Cornel Cornelius Lightsup from uh, BBC that was talking to you, and, and he very much talked about how difficult it is for the, the women to break into the game, not least because, you know, in all honesty, you know, generally the men are the stronger there. They're down uh, shoving the horses along. But you must have had to go through a, a bit of strength training and, and things like that. Yeah, um, I spent a long time, I spent a lot of the winter in the gym and just sort of trying to be as fit as I can. And I've got a personal trainer and um, just pushed myself so that I could be as fit as I possibly could for the start of the season. And it always helps, fitness helps. You know, if you have two or three rides in a day, and, uh, um, if uh, you're physically fit, it always helps you. And I suppose uh, the, the old adage of sort of the, uh, the men being stronger than the girls really uh, didn't ring true at all uh, last Saturday when, when, when you girls in pink turned up trumps and won the Shergar Cup. That is probably your best day's racing uh, to date, Sammy? 
Yeah, definitely. Definitely the best day to do. Um, it was a fantastic day, and it was just, it was um, amazing to be just part of the whole thing, you know? Without a doubt. Um, and and uh, just a couple more things. Um, if that was your best day's racing today, I'd be interested to know who your uh, favourite rider has ever been. I get a, a sneaky feeling it might be one that you might be jumping on soon as well. Arctic Feeling, he's been a special horse. Yeah, he's definitely one of my favourite horses. Um, I won five races on him. Um, he's just a pleasure to ride. And, you know, we sort of have a good partnership together. And, you know, he's always always pulled out of the bag somewhere along the year and he's gave me nice winners York, Epsom, you know, um, so he's, he's quite a special horse. Uh, York, York uh, is a special place. If Arctic Feeling is a special horse, York would be a special place for you, I'd imagine, Sammy. Is that exactly where you'll be hoping to get some winners next week or have you, you, you not managed to think that far ahead yet? Um, I'm not sure where I am next week, but if, if I could get a ride at York, that would definitely be good. Yeah, pick um, up. It's a lovely track to ride at and, you know, everybody sort of wants to ride there. What is so special? I think, I think there's a good buzz in the crowd and things, isn't there? Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's a tremendous track. It's a lovely galloping track. Um, you know, there's always a good crowd there. It's a, it's a beautiful track as well, you know, and everything about it just is quite good. OK, yeah, uh, before I pass you over to my uh, other, other man here, Matt Mitter, value rater, he's the one that sort of uh, tips up the horses, gets involved with the handicap marks. Just wondering if you could let our viewers at home have a sneaky feeling, if you like one in Richard Fye's yard that's just been catching your eye a little bit in terms of the two-year-olds, three-year-olds, maybe there's one that's got a shiny coat on at the moment, Sammy? Um, to be honest, I don't really have one at the moment. <laughs> all, all horses are in good form, you know, they're all running well. Um, so it's kind of hard to put a finger on one. They're all running out of their skin. Oh, I tell you what, you've got a, you've got a shrewd agent. He's uh, <laughs> he's, 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 he's taught you well, hasn't he, Sammy? But I'm just going to pass you over um, to Value Rater. I'm sure he's got a quick question for you, Matt. Yeah, just to quickly pick up, Simon, something you just said there about your um, obviously got a personal trainer. I mean, where do you find the time to fit that in? Just give us our viewers at home just an example, perhaps. I know you've been up to Carlisle today. What time does your day start? Or what time do you leave in the morning to go race? And then what time do you get home? Um, well, I suppose it all depends on where I'm riding, but today um, I was in work for 7 o'clock and rode out to about 10 and left race at about half past 10. Mm. Um, went to Carlisle, rode two horses, and I'm just back in the house now. <laughs> And, uh, so well, and, uh, well and supposedly we, we keep your day a little bit longer, uh, of course, when you, the media's booking you in uh, for all of these interviews. You must hate us. <laughs> I don't hate you, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sammy, well, we'll let you go. I must say, best of luck with, obviously, the amateur jockey's champs. I mean, if you could uh, secure that as well, that would be excellent. We've currently got you down there about 9 or 10 to 1 in the betting. You've got a uh, Jack Garrity and Tom Marquand to battle with. Fancy getting past those boys? Um, look, I suppose it's a long way to go. Yeah, you know, it's sort of, we're all quite close together. There's no one running away with it at the minute. So if we can just sort of keep riding as many winners as I can and just see how it goes. I mean, I'd love to win it, but, um, you know, there's a long way to go. And the boys, are, they're great riders as well. So it's a tough competition. <laughs> Sensible stuff. Uh, tough at the top, Sammy. Well, congratulations, of course, on winning the Silver Saddle. Thanks for joining us this evening. And fingers crossed that you get some luck at York. Perfect. Thank you very much. Cheers, Sammy. Thanks. Bye. Well, there we go. Sammy Joe Bell on the phone is absolutely brilliant. I mean, that, that silver saddle success mm. is, is something that not only doesn't really happen for the girls much, um, but... Well, it's the first time ever. Her. Yeah, it does, it's the first time ever, mm. but, but for her to be the young apprentice being the one that really gets the winners as well, absolutely remarkable, but it's going to be tough for her. It will be tough for her. I mean, she's. I'm sure that will do. You know, if you know, she sounds very grounded. She's still a young girl at 24, and um, I'm not just saying this because obviously what happened on Saturday. But she always looked like she was going to be very, very good. And without doubt, I think you know, obviously Haley Turner's still here. But I mean, she just reminds me a lot of Haley Turner in much of her younger years. And there's no doubt for me that as um, long as she stays sound, that she's going to be very successful. Well, I think if she sort of strengthens up and gets that experience under her belt, like Haley Turner has as well. Well, she could be superb. Now, we've overrun that first part slightly, but, of course, uh, can't excuse great Sammy Bell on the phone. Brilliant to chat with her. If you join us after the break, we'll be having the full weekend review. Phoenix Stakes, Primo Easter Geest, uh, Rose of Lancaster Stakes, all unravelled for you. And then you'll be staying tuned for our e-ball tipping session with me and Value Rater. See you in a bit.